Hi, this is Rajiv from the team NIT Double Shooters from Nehru Institute of Engineering Technology, Coimbatore, Tamil Nadu. So we have come up with the problem statement on AI-based tool for preliminary diagnosis of dermatological manifestation. Let's dive into this. We have come across our day-to-day -day life. We can see that skin disease is one of the leading spreading disease in the world. So we can see our day-to-day -day life. Uh, many road workers as well as uh, sewage cleaners as a normal people are getting more skin diseases. So we have come up with our solution AI powered dermatology diagnosis assistant. So let's we can see the solution of this problem. Hi, this is A. Mahmoud Fayas. I'm here to sell about how we handle this kind of problem. So for this kind of dermatological problem, we are the team NIET troubleshooters came with a solution called AI dermatological assistant. And this assistance is a user interaction assistance which has been developed by a generative AI which is kindly uh, provided with a complete daily routines for the skin diseases and it enables the user to feed the images of the skin symptoms and also it will provide how the rate of symptoms, how the rate of uh, skin diseases and how the effect in inside will create the <coughs> skin diseases and it will create a huge visualization to enable the user to get it easier. So this is our AI assistance will keep on track of your skin disease to maintain your healthier skin diseases. So let we all know about what are the technologies we use in this. Thank you. Hi, this is Parashat Kumar. Let us discuss about the technologies we used over here. We use the deep learning and machine learning algorithms for clustering and image recognition purpose. We use the generative AI and NLP for, to make the project available for the user as a portable one. We use a web 4.0 technology as to for software updates. That's what we used. Thank you. Hi guys, I am Madan. We are going to discuss about uh, tools used in this problem. We use TensorFlow, um, PyTorch, Keras for the AI model framework and then we use Android Studio uh, for uh, software development. Uh, we use uh, NLP library and generative a LLM library, uh, we use a hugging face for user that. interaction. Hi, this is Chandru. Let me see the use cases for the diagnostic assistant. We are majorly focusing on public workers as well as the common people. <coughs> it, it is assistant which is used as a telemedicine and as a remote consultants. It is a user friendly assistant which can easily access to the every people. Act as a self diagnosis assistant as well as symptom trackers. It, it also consumes in medical educations and also in uh, health care training. <coughs> it is 100% feasible assistant. Thank you. Yes, we came to the end. Uh, we believe this approach will help to sort out this particular problem. Thank you. By the team NIET Troubleshooters.